good morning students hope you all are doing well at home from today we are beginning the new session of e learning today we will begin with chapter number 1 that is nature and significance of management we'll start with the first topic that is meaning or definition of management before starting the chapter you should know what management means what is actually the meaning of management in the simple term if we will say what is management it means that to manage something or to take care of something as given in the first point management is an art of getting things done with and through others management is an art it means that management kya hai management ek kala hai okay management is an art of getting things done with or through others see in an organization a manager has the art to get the things done through the employees okay so manager guides the employees manager motivates the employees manager directs the employees and makes the employees to work for him and the organization in a better way so that they can achieve the organizational goal that is why it is said that management is an art of getting things done means the manager has that art to get the things done from the employees for him and the organization so that they together achieve the organizational goal see management is essential for all the organizations whether the organization is big or small whether the organization is a profit or non profit making organization or it is a service sector or manufacturing sector management is required in each and every type of organization because here the manager does what the manager takes decisions as to who will do what when they will do it and what resources they will use this actually is the meaning of management now coming to the next point that is management can be defined as the process of getting things done with the aim of achieving goals effectively and efficiently here what do you mean by management management is the process it is the process what do you mean by process process means series of functions or you can say sequence of steps okay so here it is said that the management is a process means it is a complete process or it is a complete step which goes in a proper sequence so here the management is what the management is the process of getting things done and why this process are carried out by the management the process has been carried out by the management for what for achieving the organizational goal and in what manner effectively and efficiently effectively means the work has to be carried out on time and efficiently efficiently means the work has to be carried out with minimum cost without any wastage now the three words which are been highlighted here will understand the meaning of this the process effectively and efficiently see as we have talked about the definition in the definition it was given that the management is the process of getting things done so what are the process or what are the functions which actually the management or the manager has to perform the manager performs the five functions what are the five functions planning organizing staffing directing and controlling what is actually planning planning is thinking in advance means the manager has to decide in advance what is to be done how it is to be done when it is to be done and by whom it is to be done so before starting the activity or before starting any business organization the manager has to plan for the activity now the next step is organizing organizing means to identify and assemble all the resources resources like human resources physical resources financial resources etc financial resources means money or capital human resources means the employees or personnel and physical resources means your assets or machinery so in the first step manager does what the manager plans for the activity means the manager has made the planning now to carry out that planning he will be required some 
resources. So now he will arrange all the resources, whether it is your human resources, it is your financial resources or your physical resources. After arranging the resources, the manager will perform the next function that is staffing. Means after the planning of the activity, after the assembling of the resources, the manager does the staffing process or the manager carries out the staffing function. In the staffing, the manager recruit and select the employees or the person according to their skills and qualification so that they can do the work or they can do the or they can perform the activity which was actually planned by the manager now the fourth is directing after the planning function the manager does what the manager arranges the resources after arranging the resources the manager recruited or manager has staffed the employees in their position and after staffing the manager performs a directing function directing perform directing function means here the manager actually guides and motivates the employees in such a way that they can perform their task in the best manner so that they can achieve their organizational goal now coming to the last function that is controlling controlling means what controlling means to find the error or to control the error here the manager does what the manager has set the standards or the manager has set some goals and the manager completely monitors the activity in on a regular basis that how the activities are going on if he finds that in some activity if he finds that the standards are not being met by the employees then he tries to find out the error or the deviations and then he tries to rectify that errors and rectify the deviation and tries to control the errors so that they can ultimately achieve their organizational objective that is why it is said that the management is what that is why it is said in the first slide that the management can be defined as the process of getting things done it means that management is what management is the process of getting things done it means here the manager performs different functions or different process and the process includes your planning organizing staffing directing and controlling means the manager does all this carries out this process or manager does all this function so that he can achieve the organizational goal now what is the meaning of effectively and efficiently see the meaning of effectiveness is it refers to completing the job on time it means that the manager focuses to complete the job on time now what is the main objective of effectiveness the main objective of effectiveness is that to achieve the end result on time it means that the manager focuses that whatever the objectives are been set it has to be completed on time third main consideration the main consideration is doing the right task it means that the manager focuses on doing the right task that to on time now what do you mean by efficiency efficiency means it refers to completing the job in the cost effective manner it means that the manager focuses to do the do job in the minimum cost what is the main objective the main objective is to conduct cost benefit analysis it means that the manager should do the activity or should set the objective in a such a way that the optimum resources are used and there are less wastage of resources and due to that the cost are reduced the main consideration of efficiency is doing the task in a right way here the management needs to focus on doing the task in a right way so that they do not make any mistake they do not make the unwanted use of the resources they makes the optimum or the best use of the resources so that their cost are reduced now the next topic is characteristics or features of management there are seven characteristics features of management that is multi dimensional continuous process dynamic intangible force goal oriented group activity and pervasive this can be very well memorized by the acronym which is given in the red color that is my charming dad is giving grand party now coming to the first point that is management is goal oriented process 
it means that the main aim of the management or the main aim of the manager is to achieve what the main aim of the management is to achieve the goal or the objective it means that it is a goal oriented process which is undertaken to achieve already specified and desired objective by proper utilization of the available resources for example a company decides to sell 5000 car in a year if a company decides to sell 5000 cars in a year then the manager will plan a course of action or the manager will motivate the employees and organize all the resources so that they can achieve the target of of selling the 500 cars okay now second is pervasive pervasive means universal pervasive means universal here the management is universal in nature it is used in all types of organizations institution banks etc irrespective of its size nature and location at every level it means that management is something which is universal in nature it can be applied in all the types of organization whether it is an institution whether it is a bank whether it is a school etc okay now third multi dimensional now what do you mean by multi dimensional multi dimensional multi dimensional means that the organization has multi faced or the organization management has different side which involves management of work management of work management of people and the management of operations now what does that mean management of work means in an organization the works are been carried out it means that in an organization the production work are been carried out so the manager has to see that the work are been carried out the work should be carried out in a proper way so that they can achieve the organizational goal management of the people management of the people means the management needs to understand the needs and the behavior of the employees and the manager needs to guide them according to their traits personal traits so that they can achieve the organizational goal now management of operation the management or the manager has to see that the organization is doing the production activity in the best way the process of transforming the input into output that are the output that are required for the ultimate consumption these process are going on in an efficient way now coming to the fourth point that is continuous management is a continuous process it means that management is not a process which can be performed once means management is not a process which can be performed once but for all but it is a continuous process means functions of management like planning organizing staffing directing and controlling continuously need to be done means management is what management is the process which does the continuous function means all these functions which we have studied planning organizing staffing directing control the manager has to perform all this function it is an ongoing process it never ends now fifth point group activity when we talk about group activity we see that the management is a group activity means it is a group activity since it involves managing and coordinating activities of different people as a team now in an organization a single individual cannot do all the work but all the employees together should work as a team to attain the desired objective or the ultimate or to achieve the ultimate goal now coming to the sixth point that is dynamic function management is a dynamic function dynamic dynamic here means changing means which keeps on changing right so management is a dynamic functions since it has to adapt according to the need time and situation of the changing environment in order to be successful it means that the manager has to change its rules the manager has to change its policy and the manager has to change its its goals according to the according to the what according to the changing environment 
now for example mcdonald's made major changes in the menu to survive in the indian market that the manage the mcdonald's has to change their policies and they have to change their menu so that they can survive in the indian market now coming to the seventh point that is intangible force now what do you mean by intangible intangible means which cannot be seen or touched but something which can be felt so management is also intangible management is such a force that cannot be seen only its presence can be felt it means that the management is noticeable okay for example in an organization when the manager sets the targets means he sets the target and according to the plan the targets are met the employees perform according to the target and they ultimately achieve the organizational goal so this is a process and this can be experienced by the manager and this can be felt by the manager but this cannot be touched so this were the characteristics features of the management that we have studied now now we will move to the next topic that is objectives of management so what is the objectives of management objectives here generally means the end result or the end towards which the organizations are directed it means that objective is what objectives are the ultimate goals of the organization which the management or which the organization wants to achieve there are three objectives there they are organizational objective social objective and personal objective now we we'll see the first one that is organizational objective organizational objectives are the objectives which are related to the organization or related to the growth of the organization the first is survival survival means what management of an organization must ensure the survival of the organization by earning through revenues over cost it means that the organization or the business house will survive only when the revenues are more than the cost it means that to survive in the market the business should earn enough revenues now the next is profit it plays an important role in facing business risk and successful running of the business activities profit must be sufficient to cover up the cost and there is definitely profit should be earned by the organization so that they can meet their liabilities they can cover up the risk and for the uncertain upcoming activities for the uncertain events they will be prepared if they have sufficient profit with then that that is why it is said that the profit must be sufficient to cover the cost and the risk if any uncertain events occur then the business should have the sufficient amount of funds with them so that they can meet the unwanted even and they and they can overcome the risk now the third is growth management must measure growth which can be measured by increase in sales of product number of employees or increase in capital it means that how the organization will be the one of the motive of the or one of the objective of the organization is growth how the organization or how the business can grow the business or the organization can grow by opening a new branch by adding a new line of the product or by increasing the scale of the operation or by expanding the business or by diversification these are the objectives of the organization means these are the organizational objectives which are related to the organization that is survival profit and growth now coming to the next objective that is social objective social objectives are the objectives which are rela- related to the society it means that it is the responsibility of the management or it is the responsibility of the manager to work towards the benefit of the society well social objectives like producing quality products at reasonable rates generating employment opportunity and then is environment friendly methods of production it means that the management of the business house should work to produce the quality product it should not sell the cheap quality product or it should not give false commitment to the consumers plus it also should generate employment opportunity means it should gives the chance to the people to 
get the job in the organization so that they can earn a salary or a earn some money to increase or to improve their standard of living now the third objective is environment friendly method of production the management or the business houses should adopt environment friendly method of production so that it does not it does not harm the environment or it does not ha- harm the people of the society now the next is personal objective personal objectives are the objectives which are related to the employees of the organization or we can say the personal of the organization what are those the financial needs like competitive salaries and perks social and safety needs of the employees like peer recognition providing healthy working condition more opportunities for growth and development it means that the management should give a nice salary or nice incentive to the people so that they nice incentive to the employees so that they get motivated and they feel more belongingness towards the business houses and they get motivated to do their work in a best in the best way now next is social and safety needs or we can say the peer recognition peer recognition means generally your friends or your colleagues so it is very essential that they should get the appreciation or they should get the respect from their fellow members in that way they feel more motivated to do the work the third is providing a healthy working condition the management should completely focus on providing a good working condition for the employees and a safety working condition where they can work fourth is more opportunities for growth and development how the manager will give them the opportunity to grow and develop by giving or by providing them trainings now coming to the next topic that is importance of management what is importance of management or we can say that what are the significance of management means management kyu zaruri hota hai what is the importance of that now there are five importance of management that is achieving group goals dynamic organization achieving personal objectives increasing efficiency or development of society facilitates changes here you can use the acronym as gdp depends upon efficient society means g d p depends upon efficient society in this way you can easily memorize the importance of management let's start with the first point that is achieving group goals now achieving group goals management creates team work and coordination in the group managers give common direction to individual efforts in achieving the overall goals of the organization as we have already studied that see management creates a team work in the organization in an organization every individual has their needs and requirement every individual work for themselves but they should come together and they should coordinate in a group so that they can achieve the ultimate goals of the organization it means that it is the work of the manager to integrate or to bring together all the efforts of the individuals together towards one direction so that they can achieve the ultimate goals of the organization now the next point is it increases efficiency means what is the importance of management management helps in increasing the efficiency management increases efficiency by using the resources in the best possible manner to reduce the cost means by using the resources in the best possible manner to reduce the cost the main focus of the manager should be that the manager should guide the employees in such a way that they are well trained to do the activity so they do not make any mis- so do not so that they do not make any mistake and due to that they make the optimum utilization of the resources or they make the best utilization of the resources and in that way the cost will be reduced if they will make the mistake if they will um, make the overuse of the resources or if they will mishandle the resources then there are the chances of incurring more cost now coming to the third points that is 
creates dynamic organization it means that the management helps in creating dynamic organization we have already studied that dynamic means which keeps on changing means changing environment okay so management helps the employees overcome their resistance to change and adapt as per changing situation to ensure its survival and the growth it means that if the manager or if the business house wants to survive and if the business house want to grow their business then they have to adapt the changing situation means they have to adapt or they have to adapt the upcoming or the latest technology or the situation according to which the environment is running means they have to cope up with the rapid changes which are uh, in the environment okay now fourth point the fourth is achieving personal objective achieving personal objective means management helps the individual achieve their personal goals while working towards organizational goal as we see that individuals in the organization have their personal goals every individual in the organization have their own personal goals they work for themselves but together with the work personal goal they have to work towards the organizational goals means before thinking about their personal goals the employees should think about the organizational goals and the employee should think to achieve the organizational goal now coming to the fifth point that is development of society management also helps in development of society how by producing good quality products creating employment opportunities and adopting new technology means it is the responsibility of the management to produce a good quality product they should not produce cheap quality products or they, they should not give false commitment to the consumers they should help in creating employment opportunity means they should give the chance to people they should give a chance to people to get the job so that they get the incentive or salary and though that salary will, will help them in improving their standard of living plus adopting new technology means when the manager or the business house will adopt new technology it will also help the business organization to grow and develop and do something good for the society that's it for today thank you we'll continue with the leftover topic in the next video